Just posted about the Kickstarter, totally independent of. Uh, oh, I guess you were doing that on Facebook. You're not on Twitter, are you? Well, hello there. Very cool. Good to see you guys. I've been wanting to stream this for two weeks. Um, they sent me a link to the beta demo, which you can see the um, the instructions here. And I tried it out a little bit. You really use Twitter? Um, I really use Facebook. They. Um, they sent me this link, um, you know, hoping probably that I would stream it, and uh, I got really busy. I was finishing up a project, and then I had some freelancing stuff, and I was starting to play Super Metroid. But so I started playing the game, and it's like in the browser right now. So I actually didn't really enjoy playing it, not for any fault of the game, but because I didn't like using my keyboard. So I finally managed to, to map my keyboard to my controller. Um, so I'm going to actually formally try to play this today. So cool, I'm gonna get started then. It's good to see you guys. Yeah, I don't know a lot about this. So all I know is uh, it started, it does remind me a little bit of um, Legacy of the Wizard. Um, I don't really know how to play the game. I don't. I keep looking over here because this is where my OBS is and this is like the camera and whatnot. Um, but, and this, um, this browser or this um, OBS isn't set up for 4.3, so it's just gonna be in a widescreen frame. Sorry, anyway. Let's uh, let's see what this game is. I'm sure you've seen some trailers. Whoops. Oh, I'm gonna get the title screen there. Hmm. So yeah, this looks really neat. Um, you know what? I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get my drink. One second. One second. Yeah, I was thinking of, of playing... Does everything look and sound okay to you guys? I was thinking of playing more Super Metroid tonight. And I'm not completely rolling that out, but... Uh, this, this Kickstarter ends in like 13 hours or 12 hours, so I figured now's the time. The computer sound is quite loud. Oh, no problem, I can lower that. Um, how's that? Is that better? How's that? Excellent. Thank you. That was good to know. Um, yeah, so you probably didn't hear what I said. Basically, I, I didn't play this much because I didn't want to play it on the keyboard, but now I've mapped it to my controller, so I'm all good. All right, let me know if I should adjust it further. Um, I'm just going to get started. Hey, Adam. How are you? Good to see you. Yep. Mm. Also, the Renaissance isn't streaming tonight, so... Figured I wouldn't be stepping on his toes too much. I'm glad you're doing well, sir. I just finished a little freelance project, so now I feel completely guilt-free about streaming games. Um, anyway, this Kickstarter ends in like 12 hours. Now the game's too quiet. <laughs> hey, Orange Island. How's it going? Is this better? I'm trying to get a good balance here. How's that sound? <laughs> game's pretty quiet now. Sorry it took me so long to get around to playing this. Still good for you, Comic Man? Alright, I'm gonna get started then, and uh, we'll, we'll adjust it. Excellent, thank you. Very cool. It's probably just me. I'm a huge fan of Kimigori Orange Road, so every time I see the title, I want to say, like, Orange Island. And I know it's not, not really a Japanese thing. Oh, actually, there's Japanese, like, characters on here, so maybe Orange Island is okay. Yeah. All right. I'm going to get started now. So I don't know really the difference between these characters. Okay. So there's stats here. Power, range, jump. I always like having more jump, but there's not much power there. So this seems like the average. Um, so actually I'm going to try this character. I haven't tried this one before. And I also apologize if I have to, um, if I have to step away at some point. My son's been sick. Um, he's been coughing a lot, so he might, he might need my attention for a little, for a little bit. I should probably lower my volume so I can hear better if he does need me. So. Alright. Yeah, poor kid's coughing like crazy up there. Alrighty. 
So, now I'm playing on a proper D-pad. Very exciting. I really do like this music. Now, I, I, I know that I could jump off here and I, I'll end up in the subterranean, but I'm just gonna go this way. Love the, uh, the waving grass. So yeah, I, I guess this is like a puzzle game to some degree, and I don't really know necessarily how I'm supposed to play it. Yeah, it does seem Kirby-like, doesn't it? Hey, Completionist 89, how are you? Welcome back. So this guy might actually be able to jump up there. I couldn't do that before. Ooh, mushroom. I couldn't do that before. I don't know what the mushrooms do. What the items? Can I... I'm hitting start. and uh, that doesn't seem to be doing anything. Shift, enter, no. P, okay. Oh, we'll figure it out. Oh, am I throwing mushrooms now? Okay, neat. Yeah, I do like the music quite a bit. Alright, can't jump up there. So yeah, this is the uh, beta demo on, on PC, and the game's now going to be on basically every every platform. I think they, they recently unlocked the PS4. Um, I, of course, am going to want to play it on the Switch and the NES, because our good friends at Brook Studio are converting the game to, uh, to the NES cartridge, which is what I really want to play on. And then Potion. got a ton of music on their YouTube page if you're, if you're digging the music. I saw Daria Plays did a review of this as well, which I had not yet watched. Uh, so the, mag the mushroom gives you magic. Looks like we're, we're magic I'm not yet sure how perishable the, the, the power is on. It's really um, insidious that the enemies respawn. I mean, they respawn after a reasonable period of time. It's not like Ninja Gaiden respawning. So I don't mind it so much, but they will come back. So hopefully, let me see. Hopefully the chat's working still. Okay. Everything's good. I know sometimes when I stream from this computer, the, um, the audio cuts out. I don't know why that happens. Somebody please let me know if anything goes awry. Whoops. Go back up here and see if I can get... No, I can't jump up there. Right there. Can't stand on top of the stairs. That's interesting. Okay. Bats. Of course there are bats. There's always bats. Thanks, Adam. Yeah, I don't stream from this computer often, so I'm always a little bit paranoid about this setup. So yes, I, I certainly encourage you all to uh, back this however you can. I, I've, I'm still kind of debating whether I want to complete and box any as cartridge. But I think I'm going to stick with the, 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 the PC, you know, um, Switch version and uh, just get, get an NES cartridge. I don't like you guys. Go away. Alright, this is kind of tricky here. Oh, oh, can't get over there. Uh, the pink translucent. Yeah, Daria did do a video of this. I haven't watched it yet, though. Um, I do kind of want that pink one, but I also have limited funds, so <laughs> I have to make my choices here. And ultimately, ultimately, I'm not. I am. Although I collect NES, I'm not primarily a collector. I mostly want to play the games, and I can play it no matter what color that cartridge is. So it's a pretty cartridge, though, for sure. Yeah, these are the level. These are the screens that mostly remind me of uh, of uh, Legacy of the Wizard. So there's probably something that will let me go over there. That's gonna hurt, right? Okay. Um, so there's another character maybe I 
I can do that? I'm not sure how, how the different characters play into this yet. I mean, you don't swim, you just kind of exist in the water. Oh, right, I need to go up that way. That's why I need to go up there. Okay, I did play a little bit of this, um, but again, I didn't really didn't really want to play it with my keyboard. <laughs> I'm a sort of a, a slob with uh, controls in games, I guess. Okay, so I need to go this way. Uh, yes. Money. Okay, that's fine. I'll take money. I like money. Money's good. Anyway, I hope you all are doing well. Platform my D-pad. D-pad, yes, definitely. I'm glad I was... I, I'm using Joy2Key, which seems like a really sketchy program, but I've, I've used it in the past, and it just lets you match, map things. I was having trouble mapping some of the buttons for some reason, though. Like, I, I mapped... I tried mapping the X and the A buttons to be in to be in A like I normally would do on a, on a controller, and whenever I would jump, I would also fire at the same time, which is a little, really kind of weird. And... Sometimes the B button would stop doing its thing, so I'll, now I'm, I've got the map to uh, A and, and D. Um, I'm not sure if that's my browser or if it's the... You know, I don't see how the beta would have anything to do with it. Um, can't play anything that requires any kind of dexterity on a mouse or keyboard. It's really weird playing, like, using the arrow keys on the right-hand side of the controller to move around, even though that's what I did when I had a PC, when I played PC games when I was a kid. Yeah, I think this, the final version will have controller support on PC, I think. Well, it'll be on Steam, right? So you should be able to use any controller with that way. And, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm assuming you'll be able to map it however you want. This is just playing in a browser, so it's not, you know... Well, although that's kind of neat that it's, that it's even doing that. Um, all right, I'm going to go this way. Right, I've never been over here before, I believe, so... Oh! I can, can break the grass. Okay. I also don't know how long this demo is. So... It's, it's controls. I don't know if you can tell. The controls are fantastic. Like, it, it really controls very well. Controller. Which one did you get? A comment here. I thought my Apeto controller was broken recently. I have the old NES 30 controller. Um, but I actually just got. Um, I mean, I got the PlayStation Classic, and that's got a couple controllers on it. But I now own like two of these um, Logitech F F310s or whatever these things are. Um, I have one on the PC and I've got another one set up on my um, Raspberry Pi, which I don't use very often. I also just got, um, I was going to get, for the PlayStation Classic, I was going to get the, um, that little USB dongle that lets you connect any Bluetooth controller, but then I decided to get the, the old one, which was for the Switch, uh, just because I liked it better, because it looks like Mario blocks, and I assumed that it would be compatible with the PlayStation Classic as well, but it turns out that it isn't, so I'm only going to use it on the Switch, but that's actually fine, and the NES color is nice. 10 pounds to stay the night. 10 euros to stay the night. Um, what will that get me? Do I have money? I have, I have lots of money. I'm just going to stay. Okay, I just filled my life. That's it. Alright, fine. I've got a ton of gold. So, you know, again, I don't know how indicative this 
DLCs of the final game. Like, the controls obviously feel like they're pretty polished, but I don't know what the ultimate goals are. Maybe. I guess it's like exploration, probably. So this is another mushroom. And bombs! Finally, I got some bombs! Oh, I got some bombs! Okay. Uh, features list image. Okay. So that means I can bomb things now. Did I, I tried mapping the button for for bombing and it didn't take, I guess. So which button is that now? It's um shift, I think. No. Is it shift? No. It's not enter. X. Alright, I don't remember what button I'm supposed to press to use the bombs. The demo's really last minute. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, it feels a little bit sparse, I guess, but it, it, it has, like, the basic gameplay mechanics in place, which are pretty um, satisfying. So how do, I, how do I shoot the bomb? Which button? Which key? Do you remember which key control I'm supposed to hit? Because I've tried mapping it to something. Actually, I can probably pull it up. Hold on a second. Uh, what did I map that to? Shift P. I guess it's P. Shift. Okay. So I had shift mapped to this button. It doesn't seem to be working. Alright, never mind. I'm gonna go back to the game. So shift. So it's oh okay. Oh you toggle it. Oh it is working. I just I, th I thought that pressing the button was actually going to activate it. It just highlights it and then you use your fire button, presumably. No? How do I Oh no, I'm paused, okay. Oh, no, move it. Oh no. Now I get it. Cool. So shift is working. There we go. I didn't realize I had to. It was a toggle. Alright, well that opens up some things. Can I bomb anything? No. Okay. That's actually pretty sweet. I like, I like that uh, control. I wonder how that'll play out on the NES. Ah, stop bombing me. Demos wreak havoc with actual game development. Yeah, Adam's a game developer, so he knows speaks. Okay. Neat. Now I'm gonna go bomb stuff, just, just because I can. I don't know if I have a limited number of bombs. But now that's, this is how, it, how it, you, how it becomes a metroidvania, right? <laughs> These guys are really annoying, so I can't bomb this. First, I thought you had written Demon Wreak Havoc on actual game development, which I guess is probably true.
take shit down. Still can't get to that. Is there a character that can like fly or something? Above ground music in the open is my favorite. Let's go pop over here. <clears throat> can I bomb these things? So again, a game where it seems like the... Uh, what the... Oh, I ran out of power. I can't... Oh, man. Okay. That's exciting. I think that's the first time that's happened. I can't fire anything. Oh, I can't even drop a bomb? That's kind of a problem, isn't it? Huh. How do I get more ma Oh, I guess it's the magic just, like, gradually refill itself. Because I have no way to get more magic unless I, like, run over here and see if I can get over here. Okay, that's just life. That's fine. Oh, boy. Well, I'm stuck. Can't bomb anything. Oh, I guess I go to the inn, right? I bet the inn will help. Choice. I like that there's no no knockback. Oh, this is wrong. Spot. Keep going that way. You, can, you have like invincibility, and then you can just like. I'm gonna die pretty soon. Oh my gosh. I can't jump through those platforms. Ow. Oh, those things. Those blocks came back. Seems like Bob should be magic on a different meter. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that to happen. I thought that the bombs would be independent of your shots. Because the bombs aren't, like, generated by you. Alright, now I've got some magic. Yay. Okay, I'm gonna go over here. I just wasn't paying attention because uh, bombs don't hurt you, so that's nice. I didn't pay attention because I was getting health, like, I was getting magic the whole time through. Tried the browser demo and the button layout was a bit weird with jump on left and attack on the right. Confirm that jump will be on A and attack will be on B for the NES version. Oh, it better be. That's a good question, Cheese Meister. <laughs> So that's interesting because um, some characters don't require as many shots to defeat enemies, so they don't use as much magic. I do like this music. It's very nice. There's a block that I can bomb. I wonder if one of these is going to open something. anything else to explore in this demo. Yeah, I think that's... Oh, wait. Hold on a second. I've not gone down there yet. There we go. Let's go farther down. Okay. Yeah, I 
could get stuck if I run out of magic somewhere. That would be very unfortunate. Oops. Money. Okay. Huh. There's something that lets you freeze enemies at some point so you can jump on them. I wager. I actually have no idea how much magic I have because I'm not sure how these meters work. So hello, Adam Pippin. Okay. Let's see what's over here. Uh-oh. Big open space, no music. Is there like a boss or something here? Oh boy. Thanks for playing. Oh. <laughs> that was awesome. I like it. Yeah. Don't think the PC controls were supposed to mimic the NES controls at all. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think they just mapped it like the way you would play any game. Thank goodness I didn't die on the demo. <laughs> yeah, I got one goal from the boss. It's like a slime in Dragon Warrior. All right, so if I hit start, okay, I'm gonna try. Whoops. <sighs> Yeah. <clears throat> well, as you can see, that's why I mapped it to my controller. Jeez, my story. I couldn't deal with it. All right. So, so she's got the highest jump. She could probably jump. I'm gonna try that one. A lowly guardian. So let's see. Oh man, look at that. Okay, I wish I could just push that block over there. Oh, you can shoot bubbles. It's not very much range, though. Yeah. Well, I don't 
necessarily need to play through the whole thing over again. I do wonder if there's some way to get to that chest without incurring damage. Ah! chance to play through it. Um, that boss fight actually was, was pretty pretty challenging. I think I only managed to have enough health to um, brute force my way through it. Um, like I have to get used to the patterns and everything to evade it. Oh, she can probably jump up there. Yes. I have to go watch Daria plays uh, review this now. See what she thought of it. Arrow keys on the right side. On the, yeah, exactly. That was, that was my problem. I was like, oh, this seems like a fun game, but I don't really want to play it this way. So, fortunately, technology has, a, has its way of remedying such things. finished uh, the full run through of the demo. Uh, it was about 30 minutes of, of casual play. Maybe less. Could be gonna be speedrunning this thing. It's going pretty well. I'm gonna try that again. What's going on? Uh, my controller's acting weird now. Hmm. Well, it's gonna mess up at any point. I might as well mess up now. I already played as her, didn't I? Yeah, something got all weird. Something got weird.
a tad quiet compared to the game. I'm sitting farther away from my microphone because it's there's no really good place to, to put it. Um, okay. Oh, well, that's weird. The demo just, like, started acting weird. Okay. Anyway, I've already played through all, uh, all these characters. Hey, Linda. How are you? I'm doing well. I just played through uh, the demo real quick. It was fun. It's fun. I think you should look over here. Uh, I don't know. Should I play something else while I'm, I've got stuff up on my computer? I've got more Shovel Knight I could do. I'll probably have some other PC games on here that I could play through. Let's see. Let's see if anything strikes our fancy. Close this. Anyway, that was a, that was a fun demo. Back it on Kickstarter. Let's see how, how it's doing. Oh, no, that's escape room. <laughs> that's already done. There's Orange Island. 12 hours to go. 67, no, $84,108. That's incredible. Um, let's see if I can find something else to play real quick. Hmm. I've got a ton of games. Somewhere. DOS games. Oh, Battle Princess Madeline. Where are my other games? I had other games set up somewhere. Let's see. Oh, thanks, Adam. All right, let's see. What do we got here? Oh, you know what? I've been planning to play Dad Quest for the longest time. Maybe I'll try that out. could go back to uh, Shovel Knight, but uh, let's try Dead Quest. It's in Steam though, so how's that gonna how's that gonna go? Oh, they fixed your thing with Battle Princess. Oh, cool. I'll have to try that soon then. I've got so many PC games to play. Steam is updating. So that's annoying. But yeah, if you came here for Orange Island, I hope you enjoyed it. I thought that was pretty neat. Um, I have to switch to window capture instead of display capture. Yeah, I've not tried this yet, but it looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, oh, you did you say, yeah, you're getting the physical NES cart. Did you get the normal one, like the, um, just, or did you get the pink one? The pink one looks really sweet. I thought about streaming some, some Super Metroid, but I'm already on the computer. I might as well just stick with this. loading. It's a cute loading screen. Yeah. See? <laughs> I can put this back. Let's see. This, I had to resize it for the... Uh... for Orange Island. going to work on window capture or is this going to be like this okay let's see oh that's very low i can't even hear that how's that sound compared to my voice i'm going to bump it up a little bit all right how do i make this bigger No, those are credits. Options. Really? Am I selecting, am I misconstruing what the select thing is? 
That should be options, right? Okay, there we go. Video, full screen. Ugh, we're gonna, I'm gonna have to change the controls. What the? Okay. A is okay. <laughs> I feel really stupid right now. Why is this happening to me? Seriously? Not making much progress here. So those are definitely the credits. Those are options. Why are they moving? It's moving down for some reason. It's really weird. All right, so if I do that, something's weird with the controls. Alt enter. Oh. Nope. For some reason, when I press the A button, the controls are moving down. I wonder if, um, you know what? I wonder if that joy to key thing is messing this up. So I've got to exit this probably. All right, so there we go. That's working now, all right? Okay. So then, I think that's working now. Yes, okay. The, um, the door to key thing was interfering with this. All right, let's just try this. Yeah, it was double clicking stuff, it looked like. Are you seeing this? What's going on? The game's not loading for some reason. Looks like the game's frozen. Oh, there we go. That was weird. Is it working now? I think it's working now. Yeah. Smooth sailing? Cool, thanks. Yeah, so I've never I've never played this, but I've had this uh, in mind for a while. Oh, that makes sense, Adam. <laughs> the transformation is beautiful to watch. That has changed everything. I'm getting a Katamari vibe from this. He's helped shape her into the best weapon she can be. But in doing so, he too has changed. Isolated, this dad is just an ordinary person. People are flawed. But dads, dads have strong feet. They're sturdy, ready to take on the world's challenges one step at a time. <laughs> we believe you could be a dad too. Thanks. One day... This message brought to you by TM... S, F, then now always. Select a dad. Oh, look, you can choose a mom to be a dad. That's really cool. I'm going to choose the dad, though. TM, okay. All right. That's neat. Save the game. Sure. Back in my child is in there. Sorry, lady. I'm just telling you what you're seeing. I'm seeing in my notes. You failed the tutorial. I can't let you back in. I'm sorry. But this is what this is where I'm supposed to become a good dad. Huh. This is kind of interesting. <laughs> Why is she walking like that? Hi. Alright. Hey yo, you must be the next dad candidate, is that right? Pepperoni. <laughs> you do seem adequately dead like kind of short though. Well, I guess it's not really my place to judge. I'm just a secretary, so uh, welcome to the start of your dad quest. As you probably know, in order to become a dad, you must overcome a number of challenges. So to just get right to it, let me see your hands. And a 
this is my hand. Alrighty, so basic brain functionality at least. Maybe you have what it takes after all. Well, the exit is right over there. Type your name into the keypad and prove to us why you should be a dad. Good luck. I have to, what? Type my name. What? Oh, here. <laughs> I'm gonna fail this tutorial. <laughs> She's walking like that because animations cost time and money. <laughs> He's running though, so that's cool. Okay. I like the controls. Controls are pretty smooth. Hi. Wait. Are you a fool, man? Look at that giant gap. Don't you know the dads can't swim? Actually, it's true. I can't swim very well. Uh... Don't they teach you anything in dad school anymore? Phew, good thing I was around. I'm gonna let you across now, but, you, but now you know that you can't swim, right? I guess he's a Belmont. Good. All right, dads can grab onto things, so that's good. You made it, bud, nice job. A dad needs to be both physically and emotionally strong to survive out there below you. You can hear all of the dads who've been emotionally destroyed by their own inadequacy. <laughs> Crouch down onto your knees and listen to them weep. Once you truly understand their suffering, the gates before you will open. Belmont is a dad. I mean, I guess I'm pretty sad. What's our purpose in life, really? Oh. That's pretty sad. There's a camera over there. I feel like I'm being watched. What is that? There's like a pixel moving? What was what was that thing? Did you guys see that? Alright. What is what is that thing? It's just just a pixel. I don't know. Like they're very strange. Choose a child. Eh, that kind of looks like my son. Name your child. All right, Spud. Sorry, little girl. You look very sweet. Like a dust mode, right? Like, what's going on with that? Is that the mother brain? Hello, number 63, <laughs> or Myers. Looks like you've made it through our first set of challenges. Crazy how many dads end up overcome by grief and their own shortcomings. <laughs> But not you. You're physically and emotionally stable. Nice. But with this emotional stability comes the cost of responsibility, and so now you have a child. That makes you a dad now. You get that? You pass. Congratulations. Your dad quest begins here. Your next test is right inside this room over here. Good luck. Whoa. First things first, you need to learn to summon your child, dad. Summoning is an extremely important part of being a dad. It's true, and I'm not very good at it. Especially while your child is young. Luckily, it is very simple. Have you ever used a gamepad controller before? Well, it's a lot like that. Okay, so imagine pressing and holding the left trigger button. Imagine that very hard. Almost as though you were literally doing it in another world. And of course, I hear my own son coughing upstairs. Imagination is the key to summoning your child. Give it a try. Alright, so... Come to me, son. Incredibly, incredible, incredibly average that is. You'll have to keep at it, but the summon should suffice. Now, as a dad, you've got to learn how to work with your child at a fundamental level. Summoning is only part of that equation. Oh, hello. Combat is integral to the bond of a dad and child. It's a proper bonding experience. The child longs to soar through the air in pursuit of an enemy. To teach this, I'll return to the gamepad controller example. Can throw your child by pressing the left trigger and aim with the right control stick. Okay. Perfect. Now let your child lose with these special TM brand harmless pigeons for, for practice. Now always remember, pigeons are the bane of existence. So. Oh, 
That's not the most uh, fluid control mechanism I've ever used. It's a little bit clunky. Oof. Okay. I guess if you need to aim at things, then that makes sense. That's wild. <laughs> Throw children, where do I sign up? I'm gonna try... <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> just the way the kid just like hits the thing and then loops back down. <laughs> it's hilarious. Alright. Interesting. So that's the jump button too. Interesting. Alright. I thought it was just going to be like an attack button, you know? Oh, hey, what's this? Dad hand. Child, you child, you love them very much. Indeed. You get me, game. You get me. Have I not thrown my child at, at pigeons in real life? Uh, I'm not going to say on stream. Beat the ball. Welcome, Dad. Now that you are thoroughly acquainted with the combat skills best after a generation, comes your first true test. Inside of that crate over there is a real pigeon. Needless to say, this creature is very dangerous. Break it open with your child and prove your worth as a dad. Defeat the pigeon. Oh, crap. Go! <laughs> that you can get them on the rebound. The outside world is chock full of creatures far more dangerous than even the pigeon. <laughs> it's important for dads to maintain their composure while face to face with such dangers. Okay, so true story. One of my co-workers, actually my old, one of my supervisors at, at an old job, we, when we worked in the basement, um, pigeon somehow got into the basement and he freaked the heck out. Like he was like jumping on chairs and trying to get out of the way. Uh, he was calling them like rats with wings or something it was very um it was very interesting to to witness a complete meltdown um in the face of of a pigeon this in mind as you continue your quest okay so those are just like rocks it looks like what is with those weird dust motes huh what's going on that's strange hey sorry dad looks like the power's out i can't see a thing can you hear me, Dad? Everything is going to be okay. Dad? Uh-oh. Whoops. And that's probably broken. Oh, we can actually still use it. Okay. Oh, I can't jump that way. It appears that there's been a fluctuation in one of our power cores. Please do not be alarmed. We are handling it as I speak. All operations are to continue without interruption. Thank you. This has been your CEO. Should I have gone the other way? What was down that other way? Can I even get to go through there? Let me see. Probably holding the kid like that. It is pretty pretty interesting. I think this game was oh he came back. I think this game was on sale when I bought it. Whoops. Give me my kid. <laughs> I can't do that in real life. Auto lock? No, it just 
<laughs> oh my gosh. This is amazing. I got an heirloom. Left access card. An orange access card designed left. Open certain doors. <laughs> what? Weird. <laughs> hmm. Hello again, I've been informed that a new tutorial dad is currently lost within our top secret facilities. To that dad, let me repeat myself. You are currently roaming through top secret facilities. You don't want to see or hear anything you shouldn't, so stay put, close your eyes, and plug your ear plug yours ears. To everyone else, get back to work. Thank you. This has been your CEO. Hmm, you look like you could be that dad the CEO was talking about. They, they walk like South Park characters. Your silence is convincing enough for me. You're definitely not that dad. Now throw your child through this building for me. Do it quickly. What do you mean through this building? What do you want me to do? I what, what he wanted me to do. He said throw, throw it through the building, but not at any windows. Will he talk to me again? You know, if I come back in, he'll talk to me again. I missed what he said. All right, say that again. No, you're not gonna talk to me again? Through the windows of that little level up hunt. Oh! your child melee from 160 gravel? Do I have 160 gravel? I guess I do. Your child will learn how to melee. Let the learning begin. Oh my god. It looks like your child leveled up. You now have the melee attack. You know what a gamepad controller is, right? You can use melee with the right trigger. You'll find many buildings like this on your dad quest, and with each new broken window, a new child attack is unlocked. Brings a tear to my eye, really. Learning, of course. Teach your child as much as you can on your quest, Dad. It's a big part of being a good dad. Get back over here, son. Oh, yes. Now he's a blunt weapon of doom. Oh, I've got hearts now. Great work. Now take a look at the ground. Those sparkling objects are gravel, the currency of our world. I've been collecting gravel this whole time. Raising a child is incredibly expensive, it's true. So make sure to pick up all the gravel you can from defeating enemies. I'm gonna need another keypad, right? locked. Oh, I need a right keypad. I need the right thing. Okay. Fair enough. I like how he somehow slings him onto his back.
Oh. Of course, there's got to be some silk bomb in here. Oh no. Wow, that was weird. I was actually worried about him. etched into the statue. Melee with child during dad emergency. Pop in here for a second. Oh, oh crap. Maybe that's, um, that's health, right? Oh, I can't go back up there. Oh, shoot. I lost my chance. Darn it. I'm sure I'll have to get back up there anyway, so it's fine. I like science. Oh, you can trigger them to talk. Listen, I'm only paid to tell you what to do. Let me get back to work. And if you have key cards. Oops. Oh, no. I don't want to die. So use up gravel to heal. Makes sense. a clue somewhere. Maybe. Maybe it's like some like science. science. Hmm. 
Maybe I like science. It's like the only thing anyone has told me. Force that. Uh... Oh, okay. Hey, you, you're not supposed to be down here. I'm taking you in. Oh, my goodness. Ow. Oof. An heirloom right access card, great. Never found out that password. Save points. Okay, here we are. Open skies. Apparently I can't swim. I wonder if I actually can swim and they would align to me. <laughs> that dad's finally finished the tutorial. Listen closely, dad, because I've been standing here for 56 seconds already and I don't have much more time to waste. I'm the very busy CEO of TM, and it's one of those rare occasions where I take it upon myself to meet with a dad at the end of the tutorial. You might be thinking, what an honor, and you'd be correct. Very few dads get to meet me here, so congratulate yourself while you can. You're a legend now. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of time, not even for a legend such as yourself, so let me explain why you are here. This tutorial is a test that we use to determine what potential dads are qualified to raise a child of their own. It's quite the test, I know, but here at TM we focus on researching only one thing, the dad spirit. We need certified dads like yourself to go out into the world and figure out what it really means to be a dad. Raise your child and go on your very own quest to help us figure out what this powerful force really is. That's your goal. Do you have any questions? <laughs> yes. Perfect. No questions. I hate to repeat myself. You'll see a boat in front of you. Get on it and be on your way out into the world. Go forth, dad. Go be reborn in this world. <laughs> very quirky humor in this game. All right. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat! Achievement unlocked. Get shot? Wow, that was all just the tutorial, huh? Oh, I just got shot. Oh my god. What just happened? What? What just happened? <laughs> I was at paying attention, and then I saw that the kid was like in the boat by himself. shoreline my kid's gone poor kids coughing upstairs it kind of sucks you can't give kids like cough medicine
Okay. there. Do you know what I crave? Nothing less than a crispy pan-fried egg. I would really appreciate it if you could get me an egg that I can fry. An egg. Can I see an egg over here? Maybe not. No, it's just a bird. Oh, I don't have to restore them. Oh, okay. Oh, thanks. I thought that was just the cost of using them. That's good to know, thank you. I mean, who knows, really? The orbs are free the first time, okay, neat. That's gonna be locked. Yep. Hey, is someone there? Um, if you're a person, please help me. <laughs> I was doing a bunch of experiments. I got stuck in here. Find something to break me out. Okay, like an egg. I don't want to be bored anymore. I'm um, good. So boring. Here, help me, please. Okay, interesting. Blackened access card. It's interesting that there are all these different um, tasks to do, so it's not just a straight sort of platformer. So I, I figure I figure you finish this atom. This lever looks too stiff for even a dad to just have to pull on your own. One good whack ought to do it. Alright. Interesting. <laughs> oh my gosh you saved my flipping life dude i've been stuck in that box for 13 days i don't even know what to say i need to take a deep breath inhale that box is probably pretty nasty at this point exhale okay okay i owe you my entire non-board existence right now dude but what are you doing in my backyard i mean not that i'm complaining or anything it's just pretty rare to see people back here you know 
So you crashed into my backyard? That's crazy pants. We haven't had any dads crash back here in a while. Well, he probably got all sorts of like dad stuff to do now, I guess. No? Okay, well, uh, sounds like you're new then. Maybe I can help. Follow me. I should go up that ladder that I left behind. I'm gonna walk like you. Hey, I'm going inside. Come on through whenever you're ready. Okay, thanks. I'm gonna go over here, though. Go up that ladder that I ignored before. definitely get more power from the throw. Aha, okay. Cool. Should have just done that before. Uh, what the heck is that? A toy? That's not a toy. Popsicle freezes enemies on throw hit. Last five seconds. Nice to meet you. Freezes enemies on throw hit. Hello, I'm the Toy Mole. Do you know how toys work? Nope. Well, toys are items that typically give your child temporary abilities. Most toys need to be held by your child in order to use them. You can manage your toys from your dad gear menu, but there is another way. Another way? Yeah, you can just scroll through them. Haha, <laughs> imagine if you were to use a mouse wheel or press left and right on a gamepad's directional pad. <laughs> uh. And, well, just keep that in mind. I gotta go see ya. Huh. Oh, okay. Cool. I'm actually using the D-pad, so this is the thumbstick. Cool. Pretty nice controls, actually. I think I got it. Alright, so I need some eggs. I need an egg. Almost never use the toys. It's probably neat to try it once just to kind of see. I'm sort of that way too. Or I tend to forget about the weapons. Wait, I did that already. I'm gonna go inside that building. Wish I could run a little bit faster. Huh. That one looks like Marty McFly. Um, what? Hi, Dad. Welcome to the library. Library. I'm not. I'm never leaving this place. This is where I want to be. The library. The only TM sanctioned official center of knowledge on the plan. Wait. On the plane or the planet? I'm good, Dad. I'm back in the library. The most absolutely incredible, wonderful place ever. Yeah, I'm back home. I was so bored. Holy jeez, dude. Yeah, same, Adam. But hold up one second. I feel like I brought you here for something important. My dad says that I remember everything except when I'm supposed to. But I don't need to remember. All the knowledge I'll ever need is right here in my books. Books! I bet that whatever we're here for had something to do with books. I read a book once about dads. I think it was about new dads going to the dad's shrine or something. Well, it's probably in here somewhere. Maybe read some books and you'll find it. Neat. information here is true. <laughs> you can't trust everything you read in a library. The tutorial. Not much is known about the tutorial or how it operates. Candidates from all over the world journey to this place to become new dads. They must endure a brutal set of challenges to prove their dad skills. Very few complete the training, let alone survive. Those who become dads bear the responsibility of raising the next generation, perhaps the most important job in the world. Pigeon Ruins. Yes, I want to read the Pigeon Ruins. 
In the sandy winds nestled between the dead shrine and birds lies the remains of a once great pigeon sanctuary. It was mysteriously abandoned years ago, and now the half buried network of ruins has been mostly claimed by other creatures. The lower levels of the ruins are mostly undiscovered. Some explorers have entered and never returned, so most don't stick around long. The end. Alright. Well, I think I'm going to play a little bit longer, and then I'm going to I'm going to take off. Um, let's climb this thing. I've got some, some errands to run. Errands. I've got some chores to do, rather. Pigeon feathers, yes. I remember it like it was yesterday, and imprisoned pigeon recounts their horrific story, tears welling up in their pigeon eyes. Hundreds of my friends, family, co-workers, all gone. In an instant, we were purged from this world. They were called dads. We choke up for a moment. We couldn't stop them, so we turned religion into the mafia. Pigeon stops. I still have my wife's pigeon feathers. Ooh, that's grim. A lot of save points. Did you know that the average dad spends over 25,000 gravel teaching their child new talents? <laughs> That's because school prices have increased exponentially over exponentially over the last few years. Some dads have children that stagnate because of the prices alone. Try to activate the totem. Nothing happened. Huh. Take a look at my stuff. Things and stuff. No. Do I want to buy matches? I guess? Okay, these are just toys. Disposable camera, sure. Sounds foes on throw hit. Huh. A sandwich. I like he's doing the Zelda thing. Like, you got a toy. Saves a dad from death and restores two hearts. Contains approximately eight slices of bacon. It's delicious. Okay. That is pretty great. Oh, I can climb up more. This is a nice library. Something about this place makes me really want to play a browser-based MMO. <laughs> History of gravel? The use of gravel as a standardized form of currency is believed to have started almost 40 years ago. There are four kinds of gravel. Gray stones, big gray stones, red stones, and gold stones. Each variant worth more than the one before it. <laughs> Climb like there's no tomorrow. It's common for individuals to try to collect and use regular rocks instead of genuine gravel, which now keeps their chain to tell the difference. The next 50 pages are just pictures of gravel. Would you like to read a unique dad quest? It looks relatively short. A dad quest is a challenge of innumerable forms that all new dads undertake. The dad quest, on the other hand, is an entirely different beast. Huh. For the special few who wish to embark on a journey that separates common dads from spectacular ones, the desert dad shrine awaits. That is where your dad quest truly begins. Cool. Books, 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 books. So many books, I've never read any of them. Well, that's sad. Cutting off the crust? <laughs> I have to do that, like, every day. Crustless bread, the epitome of high cuisine. But preparing this dish at home can be a disaster if you're not prepared. But don't fret, this is a comprehensive step-by-step -step guide to the traditional method of crust cutting. Let's get started. The first step to, a good cr step to a good crust cut is the proper tools. Crust cutting requires a sharp craft knife and durable eye protection. First, you'll want to mark off how much of the slice's edge you'll want to remove. This is traditionally around one inch per edge. Next, take your craft knife and slice delicately along the edges of the bread, removing the amount you marked off previously. <laughs> Some professionals opt for a middle ground by slicing off just a sliver of the outer crust shell, revealing a very thin layer of subcrust. Do not attempt this at home. This is an advanced technique and could ruin your slice if you're not careful. Leave it to the professionals. There's a thousand more pages of detailed instructions and illustrations. I need this book. You wear your sunglasses at night. <laughs> I wear <laughs> Tell me your secrets or be destroyed, puny book. What are you reading? This embarrassing waste of paper promises the secrets of strength, but so far has only spoken nonsense. What are protein and weightlifting? It has not once mentioned child combat. Shh, just kidding, I'm not a librarian. They're extinct! Oh. <laughs> no more books? Okay. 
can't climb every bookshelf, unfortunately. Let me climb more. Watch out. Oof. This guy is such a dad. Hey, you okay? Huh? You must be confused. The guy who knocked you down, that was Desert Dad. <laughs> Desert Dad? Yeah, Desert Dad. Wait, you okay? Don't tell me you don't know who Desert Dad is. No way. He's only the most powerful regional dad there is, and I guess protector of this entire town. This is really fascinating world building. This game is kind of amazing. My god, dude, you need to read a book or two. Look around you. You're in the burbs. There's so much for you to... Oh, wow, I almost didn't notice. You're a new dad. That makes a lot more sense. Hmm, I don't actually think I'm qualified to answer any of the questions you might have. I'm just supposed to send you on your way to the Desert Dad Shrine. It's over this way. It's really dangerous, so you should probably wait for Desert Dad to return. But I'm not your dad, so do whatever you want. <laughs> Is this like... No, it's just a sandwich. Is this candy corn? No, it's just a traffic cone or something. Oh, there's a quest board. Skillet boy wants an egg. Oh my gosh, there's a whole bunch of quests. This game's gonna take me a little while. Yeah, this is a neat game. Thanks for recommending it, uh, Adam. How do I close this? Without, okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. Yep. That means you're a dad. Ugh, I want to travel to the mountains, but this construction is in the way. What are they even constructing? They've arbitrarily gated everyone in the burbs. Maybe it isn't arbitrary. Oh, that's terrible. I know. Still got lots of work to do here. I swear if these construction people dig up my dad, they'll get a piece of Pablo. Oh, there's a cemetery. Wow. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good morning. Wow. Sorry, dude. Looks like you can't afford that. Come back when you have more gravel. I sell organs. Wow. Where do I get them? Nowhere in particular. Yikes. This is this is really hilarious. I was really hoping this was going to come out on the Switch, um, but I'll play it on the PC, I guess. Ah. I can't get up there yet, huh? Oh, it's just the construction workers. Yeah, the music's kind of neat, kind of mellow. Let's dance dance here to greet people into the burbs. I ventured to the burbs in search of a new melee ability for my child, but they only teach power throw here. It's a strong beginner level technique, but not suited for my style. If you want your child to learn, throw them through those windows. Of course, the best talent buildings are hidden in remote locations only accessible to experienced dads. To charge a throw talent, hold down the throw button. Same with melee talents, but with the melee button. Once your child is charged, release the button to unleash the attack. Okay, neat. Bye! Teach your child power throw for 200 gravel? Yes. Uh, I guess the control scheme... Yeah, you're probably right. The control scheme wouldn't work on the Switch very well, would it? The child hardens its body to deal more impact damage. Looks like this is your child's first throw talent. Congrats. Hold down the throw button to charge the talent. When you release the charge throw. Yes. Oh, 
Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. My passion is fashion. How do they fix that window? Okay. My passion is fashion. Stay cool, look cool. That's my motto. They're all wearing sunglasses. This shop has the cutest outfits. My child loves playing dress up. Oh, the warehouse. Can I, can I dress up? I've been drinking sunscreen all day. Dang. The burns, more like the burns. The sun doesn't shine like this in Mountain City. Luckily, I found the strange hat and a lifetime supply of sunscreen. I'm gonna go in the, in the warehouse. Ooh. Talk to me, pal. Take a look at my stuff. Okay, what's this? Uh, the mohawk. No. What's this? Desert hood. Desert wrap. Does that do anything for me? They're all cosmetic? Okay. Cool. Can I use your computer? No. Alright, so that's just sand everywhere that's drifting around. I'm gonna go in here and break some pots. Did you know there are two types of child talents throwing melee? I learned that by playing Dad Quest the video game. My dad brought it back for me from Mountain City. That's uh that's pretty meta right there. I haven't seen my dad since the construction started though. So can I No, I can't charge you. It's power throw is a, is a throw attack, right? That makes sense. What's going on up there? Should I, like, save somewhere? Save point coming. Desert Dad Shrine, East the Burbs. Hey, you. The heck you think you're doing out here? It's too dangerous to go into the desert. Go back to the library unless you have a really good reason to be out here. Nope. Wait a second. I said to stop it right where you are. Don't you take one more step. I swear I'll come down there. terrible dang it okay 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 since you're so sad on going out there some dude ran by here earlier I wasn't able to stop him I guess standing all the way up here isn't really that effective if I really want to stop people anyway if you see him just try not to let him die please it's only my first day on the job and I'm not trying to mess up too bad you know thanks Don't hit those. Ugh. This is terrible. Get out of here. So I'm guessing you can just, like, restore that whenever you feel like it.
stick. Apparently you can run backwards. No wall meat. Alright, well, I think it's almost 11.30. I'm going to save the game. I think I'm going to call it for now. Thank you guys for joining me. This is super fun. Let me see how I escape from this game. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun, guys. That actually, that didn't actually quit. Oh, okay. I didn't know there was a thing here. Here we go. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, thanks for joining me for Orange Island and for some of Dad Quest. Super fun. I will be back online tomorrow night uh, streaming Mappy Land on NES and possibly, possibly resuming some Super Metroid. I don't know. Depends on how Mappy Land goes. So, yeah, have a good evening. Catch you guys tomorrow. Have a good day. All right. Later, guys. <laughs>